12 Stoic Rules for Life. Listen to this. They will prioritize you. Stoicism. Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where ancient wisdom meets modern life. Have you ever felt invisible in the eyes of someone you deeply admire? It's a sting that echoes the neglect of your emotions, as if your presence barely registers in their world. Despite your profound affection and care, they seem oblivious to your existence. But imagine, just for a moment, if you could turn the tables. What if you could transform into a person of such captivating interest that they naturally prioritize you? In today's episode, we're diving into 12 Stoic Rules for Life, principles that not only enrich your personal growth, but also make you irresistibly magnetic in the eyes of others. These rules aren't just advice. They are life. Changers. We're going to explore each one in depth, unraveling how they can revolutionize your relationships and your approach to life. So stay with us throughout this journey as each rule holds a key to unlocking a more fulfilling and respected existence. Let's embark on this transformative path together. Don't make someone the most important thing in your life. Consider this. Your life is a unique tapestry, woven with threads of your own dreams, ambitions, and individuality. Imagine yourself as a radiant star in the vast cosmos, emitting your own distinct light and energy. Your journey is yours alone, distinct and separate from anyone else's orbit. It's crucial not to let your entire existence revolve around a single person. Embrace your dreams, your goals, and the essence of who you are. This mindset not only makes you more intriguing but also keeps others fascinated by your life and what ignites your passion. Your independence and zest for adventure don't just enhance your relationships, they enrich them, fostering a dynamic where both individuals enhance each other's lives while remaining true to their own paths. When you refrain from placing someone at the epicenter of your universe, your allure only intensifies. Leading a life that transcends the confines of a relationship allows you to continue evolving, injecting both excitement and liberty into your partnership. Reflect on the words of Marcus Aurelius, the esteemed emperor and philosopher. If you're at peace with yourself, you're in harmony with the universe. This profound statement resonates deeply with the concept of maintaining autonomy within relationships. Let's draw inspiration from a historical figure like Sir Isaac Newton, whose groundbreaking scientific contributions revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Despite his intense professional commitments, Newton maintained a rich personal life, filled with hobbies, friendships, and individual pursuits. He exemplified the delicate balance between professional dedication and a robust personal identity. This balance not only made him an extraordinary scientist, but also a well-rounded individual, admired for both his intellectual prowess and his independent spirit. This blend of personal independence and professional commitment serves as a stellar example, illustrating how such a balance can lead to a more fulfilling and harmonious life. Incorporating this rule into our modern lives, we find that it's not just about the relationships we nurture with others, but also about the relationship we cultivate with ourselves. It's a reminder to prioritize our own growth and happiness, which in turn makes us better partners, friends, and individuals. As you navigate the complexities of modern living, remember to cherish and develop your own identity, for it is the foundation upon which all other aspects of your life are built. Keep some things to yourself and be a bit mysterious. In the realm of Stoicism, there's a profound rule that can transform how others perceive you. Embrace the art of mystery. Picture yourself as a captivating novel, one with chapters that reveal themselves gradually fostering intrigue and curiosity. This approach aligns with Seneca's wisdom. To be everywhere is to be nowhere. It's about striking a balance between being present and maintaining an air of enigma. Imagine your life as a tapestry of stories, each segment unfolding in its own time, inviting others to delve deeper into the essence of who you are. Consider the allure of Cleopatra, a figure shrouded in mystery. Her enigmatic nature wasn't just about withholding information. It was about the strategic revelation of her character, which drew people towards her. Emulate this by walking uncharted paths in your interactions, 
revealing layers of your personality in unexpected ways. This tactic not only captivates but also encourages others to invest time in understanding you. In essence, think of your life as a series of unfolding narratives. By not laying all your cards on the table immediately, you create a magnetic pull. People naturally gravitate towards what they don't fully understand, driven by the desire to uncover the unknown. As you navigate through life, remember this stoic principle. A touch of mystery not only adds depth to your character but also makes your presence more compelling. Let others embark on the journey of discovering you, turning every interaction into an opportunity for deeper connection and understanding. Don't always be the one to start the conversation. This rule is a guiding principle in maintaining balance and mutual respect in our relationships. It's about understanding that constantly initiating conversations may not always be beneficial. By occasionally stepping back, you allow space for others to show their interest and investment in the relationship. This approach not only demonstrates that you have a rich life filled with diverse interests and activities, but also serves as a barometer for gauging the other person's engagement and interest in you. Remember, this isn't a game of tactics. It's a practice of self-respect and mutual regard. As Marcus Aurelius wisely pointed out, the best way to get back at someone who did you wrong is to not act like them. Applying this to our communication means avoiding behaviors that lead to imbalance or feelings of being underappreciated. It's about not constantly seeking attention or approval, but rather maintaining your dignity and self-worth. Seneca, who once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This echoes our rule beautifully. By not always being the one to initiate, you live in the present focusing on your own life and well-being, rather than being anxiously fixated on the response of others. In conclusion, prioritize your self-respect and let relationships develop naturally with mutual effort and interest. This approach not only fosters healthier interactions, but also aligns with the stoic philosophy of maintaining balance and focusing on what truly matters in life. Remember. In the ebb and flow of conversations like the tides, there is a time to speak and a time to listen. Cultivate a presence that commands respect and admiration. In the journey of life, especially for men in the prime years of 30 to 65, it's crucial to understand the value of your presence in the lives of others. Often, people tend to overlook what is readily available, but they deeply value what they fear losing. Picture yourself as an irreplaceable entity in their lives someone whose absence would leave a profound void. You are not merely an option among many. You are an essential, unique presence. How do you achieve this stature? It begins with cultivating independence and self-sufficiency. Your life should be an embodiment of interest and fulfillment, independent of others' presence. This autonomy makes others perceive being a part of your life as a privilege, not a given expectation. This concept echoes a Stoic principle, beautifully articulated by Epictetus. We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. By embracing this philosophy, you fortify your inner strength. Your power emanates from your independence and the richness of your life. Others will view you as a pivotal figure, not just another individual vying for their attention. They should be the ones striving to remain in your orbit, not the other way around. Instill a subtle sense of trepidation about losing your presence in their lives. Let them actively seek to be a part of your journey recognizing your value. Consider the synergy between Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak during Apple's nascent stages. Wozniak, with his exceptional engineering prowess, was instrumental in developing the first Apple computers. His technical acumen and innovative thinking were pivotal in Apple's initial success. Jobs, recognizing the uniqueness of Wozniak's talents, not only collaborated with him but also amplified his contributions in their partnership. Wozniak was more than a collaborator. He was indispensable. His absence would have posed a significant setback for Jobs and Apple. This exemplifies the importance of acknowledging and valuing each individual's contributions in any collaborative endeavor, striving to be someone irreplaceable in any team or relationship. In today's fast-paced world where attention is a scarce commodity, 
it's vital to position yourself as someone of unique value and substance. By doing so, you not only enhance your self-worth but also inspire others to recognize and cherish your presence in their lives. This approach, deeply rooted in Stoic wisdom, offers a powerful framework for navigating interpersonal dynamics with dignity and respect. Cherish your time, don't always be on standby. In a world where the extraordinary is not commonplace, your availability should mirror that rarity. Recognize the worth of your time. It's a treasure not to be squandered on just anyone who requests it. Prioritize your life. Envision a life where you're not perpetually on hold, not constantly aligning your schedule to suit others' whims. You have your own journey to embark on, and those who are part of it should count themselves fortunate. It's crucial to strike a balance. Don't be perpetually poised to abandon your pursuits for someone else. Demonstrate that your time and focus are precious. People gravitate towards those who are engaged in their own passions and agendas. When you're not just idly waiting, it piques their interest. They wonder about your endeavors, and this curiosity fosters a desire to be part of your world. Being perpetually available gives the impression that you're easily attainable. But remember, you are not just anybody. You are a person of value. This approach isn't about playing hard to get. It's about showcasing an enriching life, independent of others. By not always being at their beck and call, they begin to value the moments they share with you more. Resist the temptation to be always on call. Reflect on Seneca's wisdom. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This teaches us to value our own time and beliefs, rather than succumbing to the fear of missing out or the need to be constantly reachable. Consider the example of Ada Lovelace, an extraordinary figure in history. A mathematician and writer, Ada is celebrated as one of the earliest computer programmers. Despite living in an era that confined women to limited roles and constant availability, Ada defied these norms. She immersed herself in complex mathematics and collaborated with luminaries like Charles Babbage. Her commitment to her work and her choice to not always be accessible enhanced her allure and respect. Ada's narrative is a testament to the power of forging your own path and captivating others with your fervent passion and intellect. She didn't linger for others. She blazed her own trail, inspiring those around her with her remarkable mind and dedication. Cultivate your inner joy. This rule emphasizes the profound truth that genuine happiness is an internal state, not reliant on external factors. It's about nurturing self-confidence and independence, qualities that inherently enhance your appeal to others. By seeking joy within yourself rather than relying on others to provide it, you become a beacon of positivity and self-assurance. This inner radiance is naturally alluring to those around you. Embracing your own happiness signifies that you are not in pursuit of someone else to complete you. You stand as a person who is already content and whole, which is inherently attractive. This doesn't mean you shun the company of others, but rather, you seek to share your existing joy with them, enhancing their lives as well. Your presence, glowing with optimism and self-confidence, effortlessly draws people towards you. Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, once remarked, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This encapsulates the essence of self-sourced happiness. Consider the example of Theodore Roosevelt. Despite facing immense personal tragedies, like the loss of his wife and mother on the same day, he found ways to cultivate his own happiness. He led a vigorous and impactful life, engaging in activities like boxing and public service. His vitality and joy were self-generated, independent of external validation. This inner strength not only made him a beloved leader, but also a testament to the power of self-cultivated happiness, even in adversity. In conclusion, the lesson here is clear. Seek happiness within yourself. It's a journey of becoming your own source of joy and fulfillment. By doing so, you not only enrich your own life, but also become a source of inspiration and positivity for those around you. Remember, your happiness is a light that can illuminate not just your path, but also the paths of others. Make yourself valuable and let others invest in you. Imagine yourself as a rare and precious gem, unique in your own right. 
Your presence in someone's life should be more than just existing. It should be a meaningful and deliberate contribution. It's a universal truth that easily obtained things are often undervalued. True appreciation emerges when effort and commitment are involved. As others invest their time, emotions, and energy in you, their bond with you deepens. You transform from a mere acquaintance to someone they deeply cherish. Your role is not to plead for affection or attention, rather, it's to demonstrate that you add significant value to their lives, something that captivates their sincere interest. Encourage them to invest in you, making your presence an indispensable part of their existence, something they wouldn't dream of losing. Seneca wisely stated, To make a precious stone shine, you have to rub it, and to make a person better they need to face difficulties. This illustrates that your value lies not merely in existing, but in being sought after and striving for self-improvement. Reflect on the relationship between Alexander the Great and his mentor, Aristotle. Aristotle was no ordinary teacher for the young prince. He was a beacon of knowledge and strategic thinking, crucial for governing an empire. Alexander, renowned for his ambition and intelligence, recognized the immense value of Aristotle's guidance. He dedicated considerable time and effort to his studies. Their bond transcended the typical student-teacher dynamic. It was a profound connection where the student viewed the teacher as an invaluable source of wisdom, akin to a treasure trove. Aristotle didn't simplify Alexander's path to knowledge. He presented it as a challenging quest for wisdom, thereby magnifying the significance of his teachings in shaping Alexander's remarkable legacy. Make sure your needs come first. This rule is a beacon guiding us to prioritize our well-being and self-respect in every relationship. It's a reminder that you, yes you, are invaluable. Your happiness, your self-esteem, should never be on the negotiation table, especially not for someone who fails to appreciate your worth. Imagine standing in a room, your presence as significant as anyone else's. You're not there to be overshadowed or to seek validation. Your role is to cultivate relationships rooted in mutual respect, where your feelings are not just heard, but valued. By championing your own happiness, you become a pivotal figure in any relationship. This rule is essentially about placing your dreams and aspirations at the forefront. It echoes the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius who once said, What really bothers people are not the things that happen, but how they think about them. This ties beautifully with our rule, underscoring the power of perspective in handling relationship dynamics. Let's draw inspiration from Lucius Quinctius Cincinnatus, a Roman leader renowned not just for his military and political acumen, but for his unwavering commitment to his principles. Despite temptations of power and prestige, he remained true to his values, returning to his simple farm life when his duty ended. Cincinnatus exemplifies the essence of putting your needs and values first, a testament to the importance of self-respect and personal integrity in all facets of life. In conclusion, this rule is a call to action for you to embrace your worth and prioritize your happiness. It's about building a life where your dreams and values are not just an afterthought, but the driving force. Remember, in the grand theater of life, you are not just a spectator, but a lead actor scripting a story of self-respect and fulfillment. Don't get too attached emotionally. In our journey through life, especially when it comes to relationships, it's crucial to strike a delicate balance in our emotional investment. This rule, my friends, is not about suppressing your emotions, but rather about mastering them. Imagine you're on a path to becoming significant in someone's life. It's essential here to ensure that your emotions don't overshadow the essence of the relationship. Your feelings, your needs, they must be acknowledged and respected, but they shouldn't dominate the scene. It's like walking a tightrope between openly sharing your emotions and maintaining a serene composure. Remember, while our emotions are a core part of our identity, overexpressing them might inadvertently diminish our perceived value in others' eyes. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once wisely said, the best way to deal with anger is to wait. This profound statement lies at the heart of our ninth rule.
It's a call for patience for a moment of pause before we let our emotions lead the way. It's about cultivating a sense of control over our immediate reactions, especially in heated moments. By doing so, we not only preserve our dignity but also allow for a more thoughtful and meaningful interaction with others. This rule, in its essence, is a reminder to all of us. In the ebb and flow of emotions, let's not forget the power of a calm and measured response. It's about finding that sweet spot where our emotions are present but not overpowering, where they contribute to but don't control the narrative of our lives. Be willing to walk away from a relationship that doesn't treat you well. In the realm of Stoicism, understanding and valuing one's self-worth is paramount. This rule delves into the essence of self-respect and the importance of setting boundaries in relationships. It's about recognizing that you deserve to be treated with dignity and respect in any relationship, whether it's romantic, familial, or professional. The Stoic approach teaches us to establish clear standards for how we wish to be treated and to adhere to them steadfastly. When these standards are consistently disregarded, it's a sign of disrespect and a clear indication that the relationship may not be beneficial to your well-being. In such instances, Stoicism encourages the courage to move forward, to step away from situations that diminish your value. This decision isn't rooted in malice or spite. Rather, it's an act of self-care and self-respect. It's a testament to the fact that you value yourself enough not to tolerate poor treatment. By being prepared to exit a relationship that fails to honor your worth, you convey a powerful message about the gravity of the situation. This can often serve as a wake-up call to the other party, highlighting the need for them to reassess their behavior if they wish to maintain a place in your life. The goal here isn't to cling to relationships that drain your happiness and confidence. Instead, it's about fostering healthy, respectful connections. Sometimes, this requires the fortitude to walk away when it's necessary for your personal growth and peace of mind. Echoing the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, you can control your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This profound insight reminds us that our power lies in controlling our internal state, our self-respect, and mental fortitude, even when external relationships are challenging. In modern life where relationships can often become complex and emotionally taxing, this stoic principle serves as a guiding light, offering a path to inner strength and resilience. It encourages us to prioritize our mental and emotional well-being, ensuring that we engage in relationships that uplift and respect us rather than those that diminish our sense of self. Select the most important tasks for each day. Imagine you're standing at the crossroads of a busy day, your mind bustling with a myriad of tasks, each vying for your attention. This scenario is all too familiar, isn't it? You've probably experienced the overwhelming feeling of staring at a never-ending to-do list, a list that only seems to grow longer with each passing day. It's like trying to climb a mountain that keeps adding a few feet to its peak every time you look up. But here's a transformative approach, a golden key to unlocking productivity and peace of mind. Each morning, as you prepare to dive into the day's demands, pause and ask yourself a crucial question. If I could only accomplish one task today, which would be the most vital? This task becomes your number one priority, your non-negotiable goal for the day. Mark it with a one. Then, if time permits, what would be the next in line? That's your number two, and so on. This method is not just about organizing tasks, it's about prioritizing your life. It echoes the wisdom of Stoic philosophers like Seneca, who famously said, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. By focusing on what truly matters each day, you're not just managing tasks, you're aligning your daily actions with your broader life goals. In conclusion, this rule is more than a productivity hack. It's a philosophy for life. It teaches you to focus on what's essential, to prioritize tasks that align with your core values and goals. By doing so, you not only become more productive, but also lead a more fulfilling life. Remember, it's not about doing more. It's about doing what matters. Harness the power of visualization. Before diving into this rule, remember that the previous 11 are foundational, but without this one, they might not fully come to life. Now you might be thinking, I've never done this before, or 
This seems a bit odd. But trust me, you're about to embark on a journey using a technique that's been honed by top minds in behavioral studies for decades. Here's the key. Don't overthink it. Just dive in. You might try it for a day, a week, and feel like nothing's changing. But don't throw in the towel too soon. Give it a solid two to three weeks, and the transformation will start to unfold. If you're still struggling, I'm here to guide you through it. Find a peaceful moment in your day, maybe early in the morning or right before bed when the world is quiet. Sit down, relax, and let your mind wander to a future where you've achieved your goal. Imagine the details of this future life. What does your home look like? Who are your neighbors? Think about your daily routines, the places you'll go, the people you'll spend time with, and how you'll savor each moment. Consider how your loved ones fit into this picture. If someone were to ask them about you, what would they say? Visualize everything vividly, like a vibrant painting or a dynamic video clip. Focus on the colors, the sounds, the activities. Let your imagination soar and tune into your emotions, your breath, your sense of joy throughout this process. This isn't just daydreaming. It's a powerful tool for shaping your future. Remember, as the Stoics believed, the key to happiness is to let go of the idea that things could be different. Embrace this practice and watch as your goals and dreams start to align with your reality. Make yourself valuable and let others invest in you. Imagine yourself as a rare and precious gem, unique in your own right. Your presence in someone's life should be more than just existing. It should be a meaningful and deliberate contribution. It's a universal truth that easily obtained things are often undervalued. True appreciation emerges when effort and commitment are involved. As others invest their time, emotions, and energy in you, their bond with you deepens. You transform from a mere acquaintance to someone they deeply cherish. Your role is not to plead for affection or attention, rather, it's to demonstrate that you add significant value to their lives, something that captivates their sincere interest. Encourage them to invest in you, making your presence an indispensable part of their existence, something they wouldn't dream of losing. Seneca wisely stated, To make a precious stone shine, you have to rub it, and to make a person better they need to face difficulties. This illustrates that your value lies not merely in existing, but in being sought after and striving for self-improvement. Reflect on the relationship between Alexander the Great and his mentor, Aristotle. Aristotle was no ordinary teacher for the young prince. He was a beacon of knowledge and strategic thinking, crucial for governing an empire. Alexander, renowned for his ambition and intelligence, recognized the immense value of Aristotle's guidance. He dedicated considerable time and effort to his studies. Their bond transcended the typical student-teacher dynamic. It was a profound connection where the student viewed the teacher as an invaluable source of wisdom, akin to a treasure trove. Aristotle didn't simplify Alexander's path to knowledge. He presented it as a challenging quest for wisdom, thereby magnifying the significance of his teachings in shaping Alexander's remarkable legacy.